Hello, welcome to Wild Sun Art Studio. My name is Robinson and we are going to make some more intricate paper cuts. Again today I'm using origami paper right as it comes from the package. That was my first fold. This is my second fold. We're going to do four folds today just to be new and exciting. So this is the third fold and we're folding the top half. Get this down on the table so it doesn't wiggle. Folding the top half to the top and then we're going to flip it over and fold the back half to the back. And now we're going to do fourth fold, just kind of like the third. We're going to fold the front to the front, and the back to the back. Now, this piece right here loves to squish out of place, so we have to hold it in place while we're making the fold. Get everything pressed down and then sharpen up those folds. And then flip it over, fold the back half to the back. I take my fingernail and, and kind of almost begin to crease it right there at the point to make sure that the point stays nice and sharp. And again, I'm holding the underneath inside papers down or you know tucked in so that they won't move around too much now you see that we've got some extra stuff up here we have two choices we can um let's look at this and you know what i'm gonna turn that over If we leave these here, and you can make little cuts in that space, uh, we're going to have a paper cut that is square. Or we can cut off this extra stuff, which would be kind of like cutting off the corners there. So we'd get something a little closer approximating a circular cut. And I think that's what I'm going to do with you all today. So I'll get that folded up, check where I'm going. And we'll let that go. So today I would like to show you some round cuts too, because we're just going to do a bunch of new things today. I want to show you how to make that mandorla or almond shape and I also want to show you how to make a heart. You may know all this stuff but it's kind of fun to talk about it and practice. So let's see. Let's, this is the almond shape first. So I'm cutting half of the almond. So when we open it up, we're going to have this shape, only the negative, so the hole is going to look like this shape. And now let's think about doing a nice heart. It's really help, um, important to hold all these layers of paper together with your non-cutting hand so that they don't start kind of squishing and traveling away. I'm going to make a little diamond in here. You'll see when we open it. Hey, wait a minute. Let go. Oh, there we go. And what 
if I cut along to echo the heart, the, that top round of the heart. And cut out a little triangle. So you see what we're getting here. So there's the half of the mandorla, and there is the half of the heart. And we're going to have a little fuffet coming up there. That's a technical term, fuffet. My niece doesn't think it's a real word, but it really is. And then we'll just make lots of little cuts, just like we keep talking about. Um, close together so that let's see you can see this um, we have lots of negative space open air and less positive space which is the red and when we open that up that makes the paper look really lacy and delish let's do another mandorla but let's do it on this side Um, let's do, well, you know what, we've been doing lots of tight little bars and cutouts, and this one, I can just kind of try to see what it looks like with, um, less cuts. That are a little bigger. I don't know. We'll see what that looks like. Now, I have talked about, uh, in the last one that we did, the center of this paper cut didn't have anything cut out from the center. So this would go sort of like right there. So this had a lot of space that wasn't cut towards the center. So it gives us a... a sort of a four-leaf clover. That's what it gives us. But we can also do a paper cut that has a cutout from the center. And I like cuts in the center, but I haven't left myself a lot of space. So I think we're going to leave it like this. Okay, are you ready to open it up and see what we've got? keep thinking about why I think it's so important for us to do this. And I keep coming back to it's just pretty and it's fun and it's pretty and expensive. So we need pretty things and fun things available to ourselves. Where are we going here? So I'm doing that thing that I care about very much of um, I use the warmth of my fingers to bend back. Well, see how, let's see if we can do that there. Yeah, see how there's a real bend in the paper? Well, if you take your warm fingers and sort of bend it backwards, it flattens that out which means by the time we get the whole paper cut opened up, we've got something that's fairly flat, and you get a much better view of the pretty cuts that you just made. Look, we can see a little bit. Ooh, this is going to look very lotusy in the middle. That's kind of fun. Yeah, so sometimes it's a little hard. You want to open it up. You want to see how pretty it is. 
and it's hard to make yourself have patience to bend back all these folds, but it's really worth it, I think. And if you don't do it now, you're going to have to do it later, and you can um, later on uh, put your paper cut between two sheets of just office paper or anything and iron it but you still have to kind of bend it back and forth anyway so how about that oh this is a sweet one I really like that lotus thing going in the middle that is really lovely let's see let's put this on blue paper and see what it looks like. Wow, it's Look at that, so pretty. So what I want you to do, oops, you know I could probably take a little pen, red pen right there, um, some sort of a marker, and get rid of that white. So what I want you to do is go get your paper and really you can do this with newspaper it's just I mean really you know like with the printing all over it and it still looks really I don't know I get enchanted easily um it still looks really enchanting I like it or you can go out and buy yourself some gorgeous paper I have to say I find that solid colors give us the contrast a little bit better than I know you can buy origami paper that has little pretty flowers or birds or all kinds of things printed on it but I think it's a little less chaotic to our eyes if we do two solids you know a solid background and a solid paper cut so go and practice and have fun because this is about having fun and being delighted by the pretty shapes and it's about just making something that's beautiful so have a lovely day i'll see you later